Hello everyone, this is Mr. Pearson, and I'm here today to talk with you about the types of fractions. Proper fractions, improper fractions, and mixed numbers. So, let's go ahead and get started right away. Right away. Now there are three types of fractions that you will come in contact with. Those are proper fractions. A proper fraction, as you can see, has a numerator and a denominator. And in a proper fraction, the numerator is going to be smaller than the denominator. We have improper fractions. And in this case, as you can see, the numerator is larger than the denominator. And then we have what we call mixed numbers, which has a whole number and then a proper fraction included. So let's take a moment and we're going to examine each type of fraction to see what they look like and where we might use them. So proper fractions, proper fractions are the most common type of fractions. They're the fractions that you're going to see when you think of fractions. And like I said, proper fractions have a numerator that is smaller than the denominator. If you look here along the bottom of your screen, you can see some examples. One third, the, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Three fourths, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. And four sixths, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Now, in improper fractions, improper fractions are they are less common. And improper fractions have numerators that are going to be larger than the denominator. You can see our examples here. We have 5 thirds. So our numerator is actually larger than our denominator. 7 fourths. Numerator is larger than the denominator. 10 sixth. The numerator is larger than the denominator. And there is a reason for that. Improper fractions are sometimes used when we're adding or subtracting fractions. And then improper fractions aren't wrong, but we don't want to leave them as improper fractions. We should turn them into mixed numbers. So we don't want to leave a fraction with a numerator that's larger than the denominator. What we need to do is convert that into a mixed number. And so a mixed number, mixed numbers are a combination of whole numbers and fractions. So mixed numbers are used quite often, and we'll talk about that here in a moment. But take a look at this model for me. And what you can see is I have two fraction models here. One of them is completely shaded in. So you should know that 5 fifths, 5 fifths is the same as one whole, which is why we have the number 1 there written larger than the fraction. And that's to represent the whole piece that's there. And then next to it, we have... Uh, another circle model that's been cut into five pieces has been cut into fifths and three of them are shaded so that represents the fraction three fifths and when we have a model like this a whole one whole piece filled in and then one that's divided into fifths and three of the sections are shaded we have one and three fifths and where do we use mixed numbers well we use them oftentimes in measuring there are other examples, but measuring is the most common one. So if you like to cook or your mom or dad or your grown-up likes to cook, like Mr. Pearson does, um, oftentimes a recipe might call for two and a half cups of something, maybe two and a quarter cups of water or uh, two teaspoons of cinnamon. Or you might be measuring the length, so you could say three and a half feet. Or because I know you're in third grade, you might like to tell people that you are eight and a half years old or eight and three quarters year old. You like to use to tell people how close you are to being nine if you're not nine already. And so you use that. You use a mixed number for that. But our model here, we have, um, you can see two and two thirds. We have two of the, the models there that are completely shaded in. All They're divided into thirds, but they're completely shaded in. So it's three-thirds and three-thirds and then this last one shows two-thirds so two and two-thirds 
Now, mixed numbers and improper fractions are related. They actually take up the same amount of space. The difference is, is that an improper fraction counts all of the pieces together, while a mixed number counts the whole parts and then the pieces separately. So if you look at the model we have here on the screen, you're going to notice that they, the mixed number and the improper fraction, they take up the same amount of space. It's just two different ways of writing it. So we could write two and two thirds by counting all of the whole pieces, all of the whole parts. So we have two of those. And then we have a model that represents two thirds. So two and two thirds. Or we can go through and count all of the orange pieces. So in the first one, we have three, one, two, three. In the second one, we have three, one, two, three, puts us at six. And then in the last one, we have one, two, six plus two is eight. So our numerator is going to be eight. But our denominator is going to stay thirds because the, each of these is cut into thirds. So two and two thirds or eight thirds, they represent the same thing. It's just two different ways of writing it. Here's two more examples. Uh, in the first one, you'll see that we have one whole model completely filled in. So that's our whole number of one. And then the second model represents the fraction three fourths. So one and three fourths. Or if we count all of the green pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have seven fourths. Remember, our denominator is going to stay the same because each of those is broken into or divided into four sections. In the bottom example, they're divided into sixths because it's six parts. And we have two whole ones and then one, two, three, four. So two and four sixths. Or if we count all of the blue pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, our numerator is going to be 16. And our denominator is six because we've divided these into six. So 16 sixths. Okay, as I said at the beginning, there are three types of fractions. There are proper fractions, where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Improper fractions, where the numerator is larger than the denominator. And mixed numbers, which is a combination of whole numbers and fractions. Well, I hope that this video was helpful to you. I hope that you were able to, you were able to identify the three types of fractions going forward, whether they're proper fractions, improper fractions, or mixed numbers. Well, again, my name is Mr. Pearson from Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade, and I will see you in our next video. Mm -hmm.